going on, guys? It's your boy, Alex Shamel, and this is A Side of Fries, the podcast that actually brings you nothing, to be honest. It's uh, it's honestly just a conversation between me and the guests that I have today. And today, I have Harrison Friedman, host of Jewin' On, only on Patreon, and uh, and he's a local comic in the same scene as me, and we kind of, you know, we're, we're, we're pretty friends. good You've homies. been on, man. You've been yeah. on multiple times, dude. You're, yeah, I know. It's finally good that I have you here. Yeah, thank you. Um, I'm not fried this episode, so I might seem a bit more enthusiastic, and so like... Were you high? Uh, so I, I don't know if you've ever seen the last two episodes, but I've been mad. I didn't. I, I know this sounds weird. I, I only like listen to them. Like I don't like uh-huh. see. Like I don't watch podcasts. I know a yeah. lot of people do, but like I I can't tell. I people don't sound high. They have to look high to me. So if I actually saw you, probably no, face to face, no, I yeah. can tell. I was super fried. <laughs> I'm not even joking. I, honestly, it's an embarrassment how fried I was. Do you ever go uh, on stage high? I've only been a couple of times, and that's just because um, a couple of comics would be smoking outside the venue, oh, and I kind of no. just want to like. I mean, I'm just there at the moment, and yeah. I kind of I get I get the joint plas- <sighs> passed to me, and then it's like game over. Like you said, because like I forget like everything I'm about to say as soon as I yeah. get on stage. I just like riff for, and it's I've had good like well, it's for three minutes, mm-hmm. three know? or five depending yeah. on where you're so, at. Yeah, three or five, but like I I can riff for three minutes about whoever I'm talking about and. Mm-hmm. But like I can't, I can't be high and do like a fifteen or like a ten minute set. Like I can maybe like riff and joke around for like two minutes tops. Doing a if fifteen, I'm high. doing a fifteen high feels like an hour. Yeah, and then you like you realize, oh, that was only a minute that passed, or like there's you have no concept of time when you're stoned. Dude, I'd be I'd be sweating like a lot. Like you could see the sweat stains in my shirt. And sometimes. I would get paranoid too. Yeah. This yeah. Is the so thing. you'd be like over like if you're up there for a while, like you'd be like, oh my god, do they like me? Do they like you? So you get like hyper insecure. Uh huh. Like yeah. the thing for me is that I stopped going to shows high because I really needed advice from the other comics, or I really needed that feedback. And so if the comics know that I go up high, yeah, they know I'm. It, for me, it kind of just feels like they know I'm not taking it seriously, and so I never yeah, get the feedback that I good, need. Good, good. So like to me, I don't want to disrespect the art nor disrespect the fellow comics that are there at the open mics trying to, you know, they're trying to get yeah. their shit off. And so yeah. I really just stopped going. You got high. tired of, like, killing a room or whatever. Like, not yeah. like, like, like really just, like, like I, I'm trying to figure out the word. It is also bombing, but, like. Um, I call you, it yeah. deadening. Yeah, deadening or something. Yeah. Detonating the room. Yeah. That's a good word. De- and so, like, bombing, so. Yeah, so, like, I mean, yeah. for me, it's kind of like I really just. I really didn't have the f- sense of focus that I kind of do now, like when I'm in my sober self. So, mm. like, just not being up on stage and then just seeing faces, like, uh, I tend to stare a lot when I'm high. You think so? Yeah. And so I'll just blank out. Oh, and man, so, that like, sucks. Yeah. And it, it's like terrible. I just feel like time has just stopped. <sighs> and so, like, being up on stage when you're trying to just pop off jokes and it's just like, it's not fun. Can I tell you the last time I was high? Go ahead. Um, I was watching Shark Tank with my girlfriend, and I was like, eat, I had like thirty milligrams of an edible, mm-hmm. and I'm watching Shark Tank, and there's this like sweet Korean lady with her son talking about like how her kimchi is so great, and you can make it yourself. It's mm-hmm. all do it yourself. There's a kit, and they they've sold some at Whole Foods, but their their sales were low, and a uh-huh. lot of the sharks were out. Like, oh, I can't do this. Decor the numbers, it's out, and I'm bawling, <laughs> I'm sobbing that all these rich people in suits and and like luxury, you know, garments are telling this is like 85 year old Korean lady <laughs> that her business is like, you know, not up to standard. But like also <laughs> I kind of agree with the shark tanks yeah, because, yeah, yeah. or the sharks because it's like, you know how fucking hard it is to make kimchi like yeah. as good as like a and market pocket? it. They're yeah. probably like marketing is probably terrible. Like they probably don't have like an Instagram. They're probably only doing it on a website and. You know? Yeah, like I, I don't know about you, but if I were to go to the store and I'd see like kimchi in the frozen aisle, I'm not buying fucking DiGiorno type kimchi yeah. at a fucking Walmart. Yeah, you're I'd just getting to- cabbage. You're yeah. getting like you're just deconstructing it. Yeah, that shit's gross. It's like whenever you get like the microwavable Asian foods, like I can't fucking do that. Oh, that's terrible. Yeah, like I'd much rather, like the food. If I'm going to the food line, you, were you a hot pocket guy? I am a hot. I think I we talked am. about this. I am a big hot pocket. Guy. <laughs> Yeah, ham and cheese hot pockets are fire. I don't like pizza bagels. I think, and I don't know. This is like the Jew in me that's like that's like not kosher to me. Like that, you can't you can't like ruin bagels. You can't freeze them. I was about to say, was it the bagel part that really? Yeah, like, threw unless you, off? you actually like buy bagels, uh huh, and like freeze them. Like that's 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 cool. But like, 
I'm just trying to think. DiGiorno's okay. DiGiorno's pretty fire in yeah. terms of like frozen food. It's the Red Baron for me, man. Yeah. I fuck with Red Baron. Oh but my I also gosh, Red dude. Baron. Red Baron has a special place in my heart, dude. Yeah, bro, them the the middle it, school lunches. Yeah, because you used to like flip up the bottom of it and like it was like kind of like on a pedestal. Uh-huh. <laughs> and made it taste that much better. So can I ask you, were you the kind of white person that like would put the pizza like in the oven without like on like a pizza pan? No, I'm not you, a monster. Because you know there's like some pizzas that come with like Who that. Would carb- do, what? Yo, I'm just saying. I know that is that is really I'm just like saying, it's uh, kind of fucking weird because oh I'd always I'd gosh. always go to Walmart. It's and a I'd sociopath, buy, dude. <laughs> I, that's someone with nothing to lose. No, Raw just, dog and a pizza. It's just straight lazy shit. <laughs> that's like, oof. I'd go to Walmart and I'd buy like the metal pans, yeah. like the metal pizza pans, and I would like that's just on the rotation. You know, I I don't want to hear all this stuff about an air fryer. Like, oh, this air fryer is so cool. look what I can do. If you have a brick oven pizza, then you can talk to me. Uh huh. Like that that is baller level lever uh level moves. I want to agree with that. you, but I have an air fryer. I know air fryers are sick though. They're lit. Do you have like an uh do you have like an Instapot? Because I have an Instapot that converts mm, into an nah, air fryer. I don't, I don't do that. Can we get like a sponsor of like a sponsor? <laughs> yeah. I don't even know the brand I have for the air fryer. I just okay. saw it on Amazon. It yeah. was like, you know, Prime Day like a couple months oh, ago. Like yeah, yeah. dude, some I'll tell you what, that's the only time I'm ever spending like a hundred plus on something online. Mm-hmm. Is Amazon Day, uh Black I refuse Friday. to buy clothes online, dude. You don't what? I refuse to buy clothes online. Well, okay. But, like, you can go to the store and put them on. Like, I yeah, used to not yeah. be able to. Really? Yeah. I used to go to the mall just to walk around and, like, look at clothes. I'd pick them up and be like, I wish I could is wear it, this. Is it a size thing, if yeah. you know what I'm asking? Well, now, now yeah. it's different. Yeah, now I it's mean, different, you yeah. fucking see me, yeah. bro. Fuck you, Giannis. But, yeah. uh, not, nah, um... Like I used to be able to not go to the uh, the store and not yeah. buy clothes because I never knew what I, I'd be taking a gamble. It was like yeah, that's what I'd about take to a say. gamble because I'd go and I'd be like, oh, there's a two X. Mm-hmm. Mm, don't know if it's gonna fit. Am I gonna have to like stretch it when I put it yeah. on? Like what what's gonna happen? But now it's a little it's a lot easier. Yeah. Ever since I've been going to the gym, it's been fucking. It's been what, what music do you listen to at the gym? It depends. Yeah. Uh, on leg day, it's either like anime theme songs or oh. fucking like. Video game boss battle music uh, yeah. or uh, Metro Do you know what funk Boomin? music is? Huh? Do you know what funk music is? P H O N K. Yeah. yeah. Okay. yeah. <laughs> I think I might become like a psychopath like Andrew Bateman or whatever. That's crazy. Because I'm just listening to like one rave song on loop, dude. No, that shit's fun. Like I, my gym. Yeah. Sometimes I don't even bring my AirPods because the gym like will have like a very rare fire. Really? Like a ra- very rare fire playset. Like, <laughs> dude, the gym, the gym could just be playing moans and people would be like, <laughs> still putting their headphones in. Dude, like, yeah. um, like yesterday, like they had a really solid EDM playlist, and I was like, dude, I like. That's sick. Like I could tell these are all no ID songs. Like, do you think gyms play Christmas music? I hope they don't. Fuck no. I hope not. <laughs> I hope not, dude. I hope not. <laughs> Dude, yeah. Listen, I and I fucking hate Christmas music with <laughs> fucking God, passion, dude. And it's not because it's like, ha, like I'm not some fucking Scrooge or anything, know, but yeah. like, it's the I, same. I think it does shit. something to corporate America too. Like if you're in like a retail like position and you hear like, "All I want for Christmas, like all I want for Christmas is to clock out." Like, like my store, <laughs> the the place I work at, uh, has played the same version or the same song, but in a different version. You know how Kanye can come back. Comes out with a Christmas album. Uh-uh. I'm so serious, dude. Like that's how like fucking blue collar white people. That's a little sell, dude. How do you feel about the whole kind? Nah, of thing? I, I haven't I'm really fine. talked to you about I'm it. I'm fine. With yeah, it. you're cool yeah, with it. I think he's right. <laughs> 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 oh no, no, dude. I think uh, I think uh, 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 white national playlists are about to get a lot better. You know, if they're burning oh, across in my backyard, they better be playing graduation. Oh God, <laughs> Jesus! You just hear like, <laughs> yeah, you just hear all of the lights as soon as the cross <laughs> okay. goes up. That's fucking wild. Not like, all right. So I was talking about this with, uh, I think it was Art, uh, a co- like the first episode. We were talking about yeah. like how fucking crazy it is. Again, I was really stoned, so I didn't really like <laughs> yeah. have a, like an opinion. I just kept saying it was fucking crazy. Thanks for being sober for me, buddy. I but it, it, but it is kind of crazy because like. I mentioned it. He's kind of my hero. He was my hero. Oh, yeah. Kanye is definitely one of those people that, you know, he brags about not having a college degree. Uh huh. And it's very weird, but a lot of like, if, you, if I notice through mainstream media, it's been like a lot of like white working class people that are like, I didn't get a degree and now I put up tile and make like whatever 80K or they're like doing fine. They have a family. So mm-hmm. I'm like, oh, 
thank God, like I don't have to like go into debt to like be moderately successful. Mm -hmm. Yeah, like, like I mean, you I didn't normalize mediocrity, dude. But now, like people go to school just to like do shit that they could have done at home. Yeah, exactly. Like uh, graphic design. I oh, went yeah. to school for graphic design. I went to Appalachian for like two years. Left because of some family shit, and then like I'm now realizing yeah. I could have just keep kept doing that shit at home. And you could like create and like do things without college. That's yeah. another thing I like. For not forget, but like I wanted to go for film, and then I realized that like none of the people that I you know was meeting in the film community had like the same sense of humor. We had we didn't have the same artistic, um, just differences. Yeah, and also a majority of film majors are fucking assholes. <laughs> I mean, you can learn all this stuff on YouTube, man. Like, yeah. I bet, Arturo, did you actually go to school for any? Oh, is he? Is he not allowed? Is, oh no, no. Is, okay. Did I uh, go to school for? Yeah, I'm a filmmaking? scientist. <laughs> oh yeah, you're a scientist. Yeah, you're a geologist. I know that. Yeah. Yeah. How dare you? <laughs> no, no. I mean, <laughs> how dare you? Is what I say. No, I, I mean that you didn't like go to like for media production. Like you, you're all self-taught in this. No, no, no. I, I am what they call a millennial. And uh, yeah, that's how I learned it. He was also yeah, he was pretty not much not just your generation is good with technology. Okay? <laughs> I know I'm we not. were here when the iPhone one came out. We were here when the internet was born. Oh my gosh! They got a head start on us, but uh. they still have trouble figuring out what their iCloud password is, and it's such a fucking. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah, so you difficult. you work in like tech support. Yeah, technically. Like, you know, well, not really phone. tech, not tech support. I guess I am a tech support yeah, specialist because let me tell you something. <laughs> you are a Latino the, tech support. Dude. <laughs> <laughs> Growing up was tech support. You know how many times I had to change my mom's fucking password. I had to figure, dude. I had to figure out how to factory reset a phone from the lock screen because she couldn't fucking figure out her pattern. <laughs> I'd tell my mom, I'd be like, dude, just do an L, and she'd be, she'd make an L, but like <laughs> flipped and reversed. And it's like, what the fuck? It's like, how hard is it? You're literally touching three dots. And so, like, yeah, no, text, I fucking, yeah, that's a whole nother story in its own self. Like, I, I had, I get crazy ass customers that come in like freaking out because they're about to lose their entire data. Aww. And it's like, well, you see, the thing that you aren't paying attention is that Google kind of backs up all your yeah. shit on the phone. Google Drive or Cloud or whatever. So, fuck. Dude, what's up with Coke Zero, man? Shit <laughs> just makes me belch. I, uh, what is it? What, what's my usually drink of choice? I didn't know this, uh, but uh, Sprite is heavily favored in the black community. <laughs> have you seen have you seen Sprite commercials recently? Yeah. Don't tell me you haven't been seeing those Sprite commercials. You know what popped into my head when you said that? You know the, the cranberry uh, Sprite oh, commercial uh, with LeBron James? <laughs> Yo. You should do a commercial with Xi Jinping. With who? LeBron should. Oh, yeah. who's that? Oh, he's the dictator of uh, China. See, now, uh, so, okay, I, I've noticed this, like, sometimes people will mention a name expecting uh, no me to worries, know no what worries, they are. Dude. Like, uh, so, I'm too much of a nerd, dude. So, I talk about soccer a lot on here. Oh, shit. Have Every you been soccer? watching the World Cup? I was catching glimpse of Morocco and France. I don't know who won. I'm assuming France. France did win. I think it was 2-0. Um, Sad, dude. When the colony wins, dude. No. But, I mean, it's not like they were playing, like, yeah. Shitty, shitty. Yeah, like yeah. they played well. Yeah. I saw Israel lose to Germany seven zero. I mean, talk about irony, dude. I know, it's crazy. History does tend to repeat itself mm -hmm. sometimes, but um, no, yeah, I was talking because last week we talked about uh, like last week's soccer news. I already forgot about it, mm -hmm. but like this week, obviously Morocco lost to France. Yeah. Uh, Argentina advanced. Shout out to the Habibis, dude. <laughs> Uh, Argentina advanced, uh, beating Croatia, which fuck them Croatians, bro. Yeah. They're not. They're good. They're better at like basketball. Like all those East Bloc people. Oh really? Yeah. Oh my gosh. Yeah. But all those like Yugoslavian people. Like mm -hmm. I don't know why they got into basketball out of everything. I guess my point is like, cause I go to the like, uh, like we were talking about earlier. I go to the gym and my gym buddies, like the guys that are helping me out, are always talking about soccer yeah, and yeah. like. I don't know any of these players, and I don't uh, know yeah, much I about don't. these teams. So they'll be like, "Oh, you know about this guy that was on that w that used to play for Manchester yeah. and this and that." I'd be like, "I honestly sure. think soccer is the hardest sport. That's why I won't play it." Really? With friends? Yeah, dude. I, I don't use in feet. It's all cardio. I used to be a goalie. That's sick. Yeah, it's just like diving. I, I like obviously it's a lot of pressure, but like I'd rather die for a ball rather than like it's funny because like my reasoning for becoming a goalie was that like i was always getting like thrown shit at me like in uh, high school so like i was like i might as well just do it so like you're a like a heel kind of yeah that's sick dude 
I, I kind of did. Dude, I definitely was a heel when I played basketball. I would, w- during the free throw lines, when people would shoot on the other team, uh-huh. I would like purposefully, this is so fucked up. I would purposefully like slide my back foot to make the squeak sound so they'd miss. Mm-hmm. And my coach had to take me aside, like, you're not getting any more playing time. You keep doing that. <laughs> yeah, like, yeah. uh. Or I'd raise my hands as soon as they put the shot up. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, uh, so you you wouldn't even try and jump? You would just like do that? Yeah, like, no, but the, on, this is on a free throw. Oh, okay. So, like, it doesn't matter. Oh, okay. But, like, it's just something to try to throw the other team off. But it's not, like, sportsman-like, but, like... Side note. This trying really, to fucking win, dude. This really lets you know my knowledge in sports. Yeah. <laughs> I only know one kind of sport, and it's really esports. You're becoming a more competitive person, I think. You think so? Yeah, and it's good. How, how do you... How? how? Uh, I think you're becoming funny, and you're taking, like, serious in, you know, in terms of media, in terms of, like, the stuff you put out there. Mm-hmm. And I, I see it in how you, like communicate with people and i you know it was weird when i first had you on Jew and on and it's very hard to, for people to open up but i know you want to be in this long term because you immediately opened up when i asked you very uncomfortable questions no hey if you yeah. want to see me do that again you could go watch uh what was it uh generations at the war number yeah. one because <laughs> Because that was fucking crazy. Because we were like, Rosen, he was like, do you go on small planes? We were so <laughs> mean to you. <laughs> we were so yeah. mean to you. <laughs> I just, like, I, I, I'm, I've gotten comfortable yeah. being uncomfortable. Yeah, that's good. And, and so, like, that's... And you're in sales, too. And you, because there's people that, like, make you feel terrible, and you just have to learn to sit in it. Mm-hmm. Because if you give them an inch, they'll take the whole arm. Well, essentially, I have, like, a very TV show mentality. Okay. Because I like to think of everything as like an episode. Every uh, day is an episode. So then like something like out of the ordinary happens like, oh, damn, the house is on fire. Well, let me see if I can make it funny. Okay. Or let me see how epic I can make this day. You, you know, some you, shit like you, that. You try to find humor in your predicaments. Yeah. I have a question for you. So uh, with this whole episode idea, what is the the Holocaust? What? what oh. Why are we going? <laughs> I mean, like, what is? Okay. No, 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 no. Hey. I, all right, all right. I wanna, I wanna kind of engineer this question. Uh-huh. If you don't mind me asking. How about not what is the Holocaust? What is a Holocaust? Because I feel like you know, I know this sounds weird. I'm not. I'm gonna all Holocaust matter. This fucking joke or this what is question? So I'm. It's a genocide. Yeah. Yeah. Right? Like what? What genocides have you learned about? Only the Holocaust. <laughs> Only the Holocaust, bro. Well, okay. So, I, like I said, dude, in school, like I never really paid attention to the class. I kind of just did yeah. the homework and like went on with my day. Yeah. The only that and you I know about know. the Congo? No. You don't know about Congo, King Leopold? Nope. Shit, King Leopold of Belgium. All, all right. Unlike I think it was like the 1800s. A lot of like European colonial powers were like, all right, who wants to go at Africa? Who wants some? Who wants some Africa? And they mm-hmm. fucking. All took Pete's, like France took Morocco and, you know, whatever and that that part. And I guess like Britain took Uganda, some of Central Africa and Belgium was like, wait, I want the Congo and mm-hmm. then got the Congo. And, and this guy was like, all right, we're going to kill six million of you to make rubber. And they basically Jeez. killed like six million. I think it was like six million or something. It was like the same number of Jews that died, but it was in the, like the 1800s. Damn. Why yeah. the fuck did I know about that? And they like, mutilated I have known about people. This? Um, probably, but like, maybe I just learned a lot about international conflicts in college because, you know, I don't know why. Well, like I said, because like every day in high school or like I, I refer to high school because that's like the the next best thing in my yeah. education system. I don't. Oh, yeah. You went to public school, too. So, oh, yeah, I, I, technically I, did I too. went to college, but for art, I didn't do anything else. Uh, yeah, I just went to go because I literally went for graphic design and then I took a a, a minor in photography and then after that, like all my easy classes, which were like math and shit, I just did the homework. I never paid attention. Wow. Yeah. Like I just wanted I just wanted to go to school for art. I didn't yeah. I didn't give a fuck about like Yeah, I, I didn't give a shit about like math classes either and stuff like that. But, but I it's not I, to say that I'm stupid. Like yeah. I could still do math. I think I think history can inspire your art too. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. Like uh, there's certain parts like You have like to find said, inspiration in different subjects for like, your art. Like the only part in history that I really ever cared about was yeah. like World War One, World War Two. Okay. I don't really know anything about World War One other than like some dude got assassinated and like they had to jump in. And there was like, a bombing attempt. First bomb yeah. attempt went wrong. Second bomb attempt. Oh shit, he's right there. Yeah. Boom. And then that's how World War starts. Okay. Yeah. Like it it was to me it was interesting that it was like it, it felt like a soap opera. World War One. Okay. 
Yeah. And I, then World War II felt like a gritty crime. It war. did. It was like Revenge of the Sith. <laughs> yeah. It, definitely. If you're like a Star Wars fan, that was definitely, yeah, Darth Vader's comeback, dude. But like, and I guess to like tie it into like something geeky, like the only reason I really cared about World War II was because Call of Duty did a, a Nazi zombie kind of oh, thing. Oh, yeah. And I was like, oh, time to figure out what this is all about. I know this sounds fucked up, but uh -huh. is it? I think we should stop making slave movies. I think we should. Listen, too. why do we keep Listen, making slave movies? Well, you just said something that I'd like for you, like we've talked about before. You said the only reason you know about World War II is because of Call of Duty games. <laughs> so I think that, you know, um, Auschwitz Birkenau, out the immersive reality oh, fuck experience. Dude. What has this the is merit? The, I think this is the third time you brought it up. <laughs> you should like start find a Kickstarter for this. <laughs> this is gonna be a. I'll tell you what. Yeah. We do like VR for like so uh, VR the life of a day laborer. Oh shit. <laughs> no. <laughs> you, as soon as you put it on, you're just in a Home Depot parking lot. Oh god. <laughs> <laughs> you're running up to me asking about my shingles. <laughs> you know, I'll tell you that one of my favorite movies of all times is um why the fuck am I blanking now? It's uh, all quite on the western front. Oh, I've heard it. It's one of my favorite movies of all times, and it, the original, because they came out with a remake in Netflix, and the, the Netflix remake is really good too. That shit's really sad, just like the first one. Do they still make you read the book in school? Like they did that for me in uh, high, like high school or something. When I went to school, yeah, they made me read. I don't know if it's the same for my like my sibling, younger siblings, um, but yeah, that that and Crystal Knock was one another oh, one of my favorites. Yeah. Um, but the reason I really liked All Quiet on the Western Front is because the main character in the original <clears throat> was an artist. Mm. He was drawing all the time. He wanted to do like art and shit like that. Obviously, in the war, you you had to get drafted, so he yeah. was doing that shit. You know, he kind of figured out the 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 hard the hard reality of war. And then at the end of the movie, I guess spoiler alert: if you didn't see this twenty year old movie, you fucking caveman. But um. Yeah, like he he sees a bird, he wants to sketch it, and he kind of can't get a good view of the bird, and then he kind of leans out, and the enemy shoots him while he's drawing, and that's how the movie ends. I, I guess that's a. I know this sounds weird. You're, you're literally dying doing what you love. Exactly, and that's why I really fuck. It resonated with me because I was like, if I'm gonna die, hopefully I'm fucking drawing or playing video games or doing some shit that I really liked. Because if I don't, I've been, then I've been in some dumbass movies recently. I don't know if it's inspiring or not, but uh, he's a big Nick Cage fan. Arturo's a big Nicholas Cage. Cage? Uh, I watched Raising Arizona recently. What's that? It's about Nick Cage plays uh, like a ex con, and he marries like a lady cop, uh -huh. and they're trying to have a family, and she can't, she she can't have kids, Ooh. so they steal a baby from this like rich furniture salesman. <laughs> what? And they steal, they get away with it. They get the baby, and apparently, like, there's like a bounty for them. And there's a bounty hunter after them, and the, his the ex con's friends. Steal the baby, and there, there's just a whole kind of chase to get this baby back, and then return the baby because he finds out a bounty hunter's after him, and then he sends off the baby, or he finally gives the baby back to the furniture sales guy, and he's uh -huh. like, "Are you the one who took my baby?" And he's like, "Yeah, I'm sorry." And they're like, "Get the fuck out of here. We won't press charges." And I was like, "That's so unrealistic," but it's at least you can see that there's remorse even in the most chaotic dumbasses or evil people if that makes sense i don't know if you call him evil he was like definitely uh, good spirited but like he, he people will still be stuck in their old ways but like not try to tear you like, they will w unwillingly take you down if you that know, makes sense yeah you know the way you um i gotta watch this movie now because yeah. like the way you made it sound it just sounds like a fucking it, crazy ride. it's like uh like uncut jam it's like one of those movies like uh, good time where you're like i i need to see what happens next oh, okay. i need to see what happens next because in my head it sounded Adrenaline like speed <laughs> it sounded like speed kind of yes okay where there's just a lot of different characters and, and facets conflicts mm -hmm. yeah and i i definitely like that i like to see multiple conflicts because like if I feel like a lot of movies can become one dimensional mm -hmm. where it's like, oh, this person struggles with this and you have to see it the entire way through. And I'm like, no, nah. there's got like love and mercy is a great example of that uh -huh. where like his handler or his like psychiatric therapist is abusive. But he also has very serious paranoid schizophrenia mm -hmm. and he has like a girlfriend that loves him and wants him to get better and wants to wants to live with her and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. So I uh appreciate that. Uh, I guess. what's a, 
Cause I'm I'm definitely gonna give that one. Send yeah. that to me later after okay. the show for sure. I have um, like a T-shirt of it. Like we'll definitely. Oh see really? Where, yeah. It's it's one of those movies that's uh, it's very like I like uh, like the southwestern aesthetic. Mm-hmm. I like that. Um, I don't know. It's like a weird action movie. I think it was in the early 2000s. It came mm-hmm. out. Yeah. It's I, a Coen uh, Brothers movie. I uh, I watched a movie a couple of, or actually a couple of years ago. Um, okay. That I think is one of the one of the greater movies of like my modern of our modern yeah. generation. Uh, you ever see that movie Tenet? Oh shit! You ever see that movie? It's, that fucking movie, bro. Works. Let me tell you, there, uh, Christopher Nolan made that movie. Right? I know, yeah. So like, I think Inception's still better, dude. Yeah, but this is one of the first times Christopher Nolan has made me cry. Or Memento. Memento might be better. What's Memento's that? funny if you think What's about that it. Movie? Mementos where the guy keeps forgetting and he has to like write things on his arms and shit like oh, that. Oh shit, yeah, that's yeah. what that movie's called. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I seen a clip. So like my TikTok is filled with fucking Sigma and fucking like, <laughs> like uh, the the personality <laughs> yeah, like shit. Yeah, yeah. Like it'll give me fucking yeah. movie like like uh, what's the there's a movie. What do you think of American Psycho? I think that's a really good fucking movie. I viewed it as a comedy when I was in like high school, but now I think it's like uh, I think it's still a comedy, but it's like. Very much like an Andy Kaufman ish, like very, very much like you have to be on and on the joke if that makes sense. Yeah, I really, I don't know, like look that mo- thinner, be pretty, you know. I never really followed the story that well with that movie, okay. only because like it's kind of it's just a dude kind of like killing because like what he just. Had I guess a knack he get. I, it, I know. I think what it was from I read the book too. He was bored with being like a Wall Street slime ball. Like he was making money, but then there was like always somebody in his way. Mm-hmm. He was still like doing the dance, no matter how high he climbed. Mm-hmm. And then he was like, "I don't like my girlfriend anyway. I, you know what? I want to get all my energy out because it's it, if it, what it seemed like it was unbridled rage just being boiled. To I was the about top. to say like pent up like yes. anger. Yes, like we don't know how to like release our anger in like a really capitalist business oriented society in a corporate setting because we always have to like." You know, check in with HR uh-huh. or, or like, you know, we get to just clock in, clock out. We can't use any of our sick days, mm-hmm. you know, because we're planning on that big vacation that'll never happen. <laughs> you know, uh, speaking of vacations, uh, did I ever tell you about my crazy vacation no. to Tennessee? No, I didn't. I did not no. heard it. Yeah. Tennis. That that shirt was a total shit show, brother. Where were you in Tennessee? I went to get Ga- uh, so we went to Gatlinburg. I have Dollywood. And, uh, <laughs> Is that Pigeon Forge area? Pigeon Forge, yeah. yeah. Honestly, Tennessee's cool as fuck. I keep breaking this up. I'm sorry, viewers, but I'm still get moonshine? on my fuck. Huh? Did you get moonshine there? Yeah. Okay, good. Yeah. <laughs> Speaking like of moonshine. Yeah. No, uh, honestly, yeah. Uh, somebody I really cared about just fo- yeah, That's another story. Oh. Uh, yeah. I think I heard about this. You, yeah. you remember? Because uh, We've talked about this. Yeah. We've talked about. Yeah, dude. I'm, I'm glad you're. I, I didn't. I felt like I was. I was too not too toxic earlier on but i feel like i i definitely know i have some like hard opinions about things Mm -hmm. and it i may be perceived as like stubborn or like i don't know i don't think i i i don't andy do you think i'm anti-woman because i've gotten that (laughs) i've gotten that from people (laughs) do you think i'm (laughs) anti-woman arturo do you think i'm racist (laughs) please say yes (laughs) say yes (laughs) <laughs> are you so what are you are you telling me that you kind of had some insight <laughs> i don't know man i almost shit my tooth on this <laughs> i was really going hard like so yes i was about to eat the microphone you you saw what? something that i didn't see yeah i did and but here's the thing though you ha- you have different um sexual connotations because of your oh, yeah, trauma yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah so i i am not a, a psychologist i can't you know, deconstruct and, your your sexual intimacy issues. And if it's not want, my job. And if you want to hear about that, join on Patreon. Yeah, my episode. Yeah, but um, no, tell me because like for one, we're not friends anymore. I'm never gonna see her again. Oh. So like it, that's it. So, I can't. I can't believe it. I don't know. It sounds weird. I had to go through what you went through at like 18. Really? Yeah. Like just just a woman that like was almost like nice to me, like mm-hmm. everything else, but like would never see me in that way. And I just had a, you know, no matter how hard or how assertive I will, I just wasn't there to like, mm-hmm. like, I know this sounds weird. And this is, this is a weird thing for a lot of guys to say, 
But like sometimes you always can't be a woman's answer. Sometimes you just gotta be the problem or be a vo- like be play it cool. <laughs> that, that's what they said. Play it cool. Do you think you were there to kind of like feed her ego a little bit? Yeah. 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 How, do you, how about you, Alex? I feel uh, yeah. I think so. <laughs> okay. <laughs> now that and maybe like- let's get a woman's perspective because I'm yeah. sure you know or knew girls like this or women like this perhaps. <laughs> and because they I have been a woman like that. Yeah. <laughs> Hell yeah. Can confirm. Plot twist everyone. That all women do this when we don't feel or like having a bad kind of week or whatever. There's always that guy who will Damn. hang out with you. Yeah. And the guy who works, yeah. but not try to get in your pants too hard. Uh, yeah. It's like it's crazy. We'll to take me. you on the date and do everything. But I've been I've been on dates where I've like, am I gonna sleep with this girl? And it's like I don't have a chance I'm anyway. Now that I'm thinking about it, you how know? you know if she's gonna sleep with you? Yeah. Okay. If a woman takes home food on the first through third dates, she's never going to sleep with you. <laughs> I'm just trying to think. You're right. Yeah. I'm You're not right. Trying now to... they get taking food. Now? Oh my gosh. I'm not gonna analyze my previous memories and figure out if that was the case because time was already I wasted. Will say, I will say this. I will say this. The uh-huh. most like uh, psychoanalyzed I've I've been at, or no, the most psychoanalyzed I've been by a woman is after sex. Okay. For me, that I've noticed. Okay. I remember like this is before. Okay. This is before my current relationship. Mm-hmm. Uh, after, you know, there's the morning after she looks at me as I'm about to like get my car and he's like, Hey Harrison, I need to take some. And, and then I say, Oh, what is it? And she says, you remind me of my ex-boyfriend. <laughs> and, and I was like, I don't know what to say about that. And I was like, uh, okay, uh, I'm going to go now. And then I didn't think we stopped talking to each other, obviously. Yeah. That's a real technical. Yeah. Style. Like that, that I can't, you can't come back from that. And I wasn't going to try to, you know, a real yellow card. It's, yeah. It seems weird. Don't try to win people over. It's Just like, don't. Like what pisses me off is that like, oh, and I'm about to, I'm going to tell a story that, uh, in my opinion, it was kind of like my, like, I don't think she fucks with me kind of thing. Yeah. So do you remember when Spider-Man No Way Home came, or the 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 one with all the other two Spider-Mans? Yeah. The most recent Spider-Man? Yeah. So I go, and spider Man's one of my favorite superheroes of all time. If you catch me in public and you mention Spider-Man, I'm going to fucking <laughs> run your ear off. And so... It's Why like go on? Asperger's and, kids with Thomas and, the Tank Engine. <laughs> what did you say? I was a big Thomas the Tank Engine kid. Right. I think that I don't know the autism and trains joke or whatever that's been done <laughs> a million times. I was like, it is adding up, but I don't know if Spider Man's that for you. So, uh, probably not. Okay. But uh, <laughs> I think uh, no, yeah, I don't. I don't have an answer for that one. You didn't have like an obsession. You didn't have like a, a little obsession over oh, anything when you no, were a kid. You know what? what? Was Power it? Rangers. Power Rangers for you? Yeah. Dang, I never got into Power Rangers. So that's I crazy. Anyway, so <laughs> Spider Man. Uh, so we go in to see Spider Man. I ask to see if she wants to go. Uh, you know, because she's always asking about going to see a movie. And I'm like, dude, let's go see Spider-Man. I really want to go see yeah. Spider-Man. And uh, I invite her. She goes, we're chilling. We smoke yeah. a little bit beforehand. And then we go. We watch the movie. I'm about to be so fucking hype. Uh, wow. Spider-Man. Yeah. She gets a stomach ache. Uh, she's having a stomach ache in the middle of the... Bro, that's the Green Ranger. Isn't oh, one shit. of them dead? Bro, this is one of those... Is that the dead one? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> there's a, there's yes, one. Can we do some research? Put some respect on Jason David Frank's name. Yeah. Yo, this is dude. If I was a kid, I would have fucking killed to have this one. This one has all the movable like oh, yeah. arms Parts, and shit. Like less than two years ago. This shit's lit. I like this. Oh yeah. So yeah, she has a stomach ache mm-hmm. and she's just chilling there. I'm like, hey, we could leave. I was like, I don't want you to suffer yeah. through this movie. Mainly, half of it is more so because I don't want her to like feel like she's holding me back on it. Yeah. And two, I really just wanted to watch this fucking movie with no problems. Yeah. So I offered her. I was like, hey, we can just do this another time. I'll take you home. She goes, no, no, it's fine. Like, let's go through it. I'm trying to enjoy this fucking movie. Yeah. And I hear her fucking rustling and fucking grabbing her stomach and like fucking having to go bitch. back. Like, And I'm like, dude, like, okay, maybe I'm just being rude about this. But like, I really wanted to watch this movie. And like now I'm more so worried about you. So it's like it's like what do I what? I'm How about to win? watch the biggest moment that I've wanted to see for a fat fucking minute or do I really want to take care of her? Should, I and know so, this sounds weird. You should have went alone. <laughs> I mean I know. <laughs> I know now. Yeah. But yeah. uh <laughs> Some, sometimes you know sometimes people won't appreciate This is weird. I I didn't really want to see this movie, but I I kind of would like 
you know, was like, I'll see it in my free time or whatever, mm-hmm. you know. I hope no one spoils it for me. It was the Joker. I saw it with Caitlin. Okay. And I was uncomfortable the whole time. <laughs> Uh, maybe it just like dug it dug something deep in me. Why? Because 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 is it because yeah. you could relate? <laughs> yeah, mentally a white dude. Yeah. Give us your best leg. You know, like. I can't do like a joke. I, I I don't I don't understand. It's very it's very neck beard fedori cargo pants ish. Which uh-huh. I, it's ironic enough, I'm wearing cargo pants joggers. No, nah, bro. These are these are ath- that's a, at leisure. At leisure, bro. it is yeah. very at leisure. Put some respect on at leisure. Yeah. But uh, yeah, that was one of those movies that I was like, I'll see this without a date or not. But am I was so? And you guys could answer this too. Am I wrong for feeling that about Spider Man? Like, whether or not I was willing to like either focus on this movie or focus on someone that I kind I cared about. Mm. This was in the theater, right? Yeah. yeah. So she needs to shut the fuck up. <laughs> okay, it's a theater <laughs> movie experience. <laughs> You're not watching it at home where you can pause it. Yeah. It's the first time you've seen it, right? Yeah. Fuck that. Yeah. yeah. So like. After after the movie's over and I'm like, hey, are you ready to bounce? What, like, when was the last time you heard someone talk in a movie theater? Uh, I went to go see Smile w- with the same person Aww. who okay who also fell asleep during that fucking movie and I had dude, to. Dude, you're so hurt. You're so. I'm just dude, saying, this is man. A hurt, this is a hurt Listen, I'm glad right you here. cut that off of the head because uh, uh, Harrison was about to be like, I've been to a theater where people were talking. <laughs> <laughs> It was all my coworkers. Granted, it was a Tyler Perry movie. Oh my god! What? Oh man! Yes. What if it was like the whitest movie ever, like the Mister Rogers Tom Hanks movie or something? <laughs> hey, by the way, that's that's a goaded movie, right what? there. That's really? a real goaded. I haven't seen it yet. I'm a that big movie. Tom Hanks fan, Dude, even though I'm, he might be a pedophile. I'm a big Mister Rogers fan. <laughs> Really? Yeah. Oh, Mr. Rogers. Fun. Yeah, because that's how everybody knew me in the comedy scene is that I always wore the Mr. Rogers T-shirt, yeah. Yeah. and like Mr. Rogers is a big hero to me. Yeah, and so like he was like a he was like a decorated veteran uh-huh. I think, too. I think he was the Air Force or something. But um, uh, but yeah, so like we we went to go see Smile too, and she fell asleep through that fucking movie. What's I the watched worst the movie you've seen recently. Huh? What's the worst movie you've seen recently? Worst movie I've seen recently. Um. That's kind of a well. That's the thing. Bad movies to me, like bad movies to other people, yeah. are good movies to me. I've been watching a really terrible show recently. What is it? Glee? Oh God! <laughs> yeah, dude. I, I know this sounds weird. We gotta, we gotta make Ryan Murphy stop making TV shows. <laughs> I <laughs> we never make a Kickstarter or something, dude. Glee. Who's paying for this? Who's paying for like another American Horror Story? Glee to me is what like people are watching Euphoria today. Yeah, it's like I just it, don't care. <laughs> I think because like I grew up around like skins uh-huh. and I was like, all right, I kind of know what this is. You know, it's very much like broken home British teenagers. And, oh, yeah. you know, maybe one of them gets pregnant and that's the whole show. Sure. <laughs> and someone does that. heroin and that's it. Cliff notes. Cliff notes. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Like I haven't really seen a bad movie. I guess a bad movie that I've seen recently is it's like just so unwatchable. Like, maybe we like tell people not to watch it. <laughs> Oh, I don't know. There was only one. I've only walked out of one movie. What was it? That was like Dragon Ball Evolution. I've not seen that. That yeah, don't, <laughs> don't do it to yourself, I'm buddy. To think of the worst movie. Don't I've do seen. it. I well, cause like I've been seeing nothing but bangers. Like I, yeah. Cause uh, I you know like what you spend your money on. Yeah, like I went to go see. I guess the worst movie I've seen this year is probably Doctor Strange. And everybody thinks that movie like was fucking fire, but I'm just like, it's kind of mid. Yeah. Sure, that that like when Wanda goes fucking evil, like yeah. yeah, that's cool. That's mad cool. Like you get to see that Sam Raimi's like horror inspo like throughout mm-hmm. the entire movie. Yeah, that's cool, but it's mid. I don't like Marvel movies. Oh, well, I think I, they're for children. Okay. I'm sorry, I feel like I'm. <laughs> no, I, I don't. It sounds weird, but like superhero movies are very played out to me. Okay. I don't I don't know what to expect. You know I mean, there's else? some like cool like as effects and stuff like that. Uh, you know what else is played out? What the Holocaust? No, I'm, <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm joking. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, when will stop. they stop okay. complaining about it? <laughs> no, I'm joking. Nah. That's all Hanukkah is. It's eight I'm days joking. of complaining about Hanukkah or <laughs> Oh boy, oh boy. Mm. No, but um. I mean, I feel you on that. Marvel, yeah. like the Marvel movies, have been kind of been eh lately. Yeah. I mean, the only things I ever really get excited about is Spider Man. Yeah. Any mention of Spider Man is kind of yeah. like a like. I think I think we all have like a, that like one superhero we enjoy personally. Uh-huh. You see the new Black Panther movie? 
I have not. No, it's pretty good. I, I mean, I wouldn't expect you to, but no. <laughs> <Yeah>. considering you, <laughs> I'm hate actually one. protesting outside. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a fire. Wakanda's not real. Like, <laughs> no, but um, not Black Panther is pretty good. Um, I, I I don't know what the next Marvel project is. I haven't really been paying attention mm. to that. Oh, you know what? Uh, hot take. Uh, people think. Uh, what was it in the more in Eternals? Yeah. That movie was really fucking good. I hate that that movie's getting a lot of hate. Do they hate. have Hispanic superheroes? <laughs> yeah. Um, uh, Spider-Man 2099 is Miguel oh, O'Hara. He's oh, a okay. Mexican Spider-Man. Nice. Um, they should come out oh, with the Jewish uh, superhero that controls the weather. All right, I'm done. <laughs> 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 Make some rain pennies. I'm sorry, I'm uh, done. America Chavez is, uh, uh, I think she's Mexican. Who is? Did you see Doctor Strange? Oh, yeah, yeah, she was. Yeah, yeah, yeah. the... The intergalactic border yeah, yeah, that was, jumper. That was, you know what? I think Doctor. I, I don't know. I actually I watched it too. I don't think Doctor Strange was that bad. Well, I think Benedict Cumberbatch is a good actor, so mm-hmm. it's very rare to see him like do bad in something. Um, there's a a movie coming out that has another one of my favorite actors, uh, Cillian Murphy. Yes. Uh, what's the What's it called? Uh, Oppenheimer or something like that. Yeah, you're in your Sigma phase. Of course, you're like a big Peaky Blinders fan. I am a big Peaky <laughs> yeah, Blinders yeah, fan. Dude. For the fucking Peaky <laughs> Blinders. Like I'm, I'm super. I feel like you start carrying around a pocket watch or something just for the aesthetic. <laughs> like, did you just call it his Sigma face? <laughs> yeah, his Sigma face. <laughs> no, you missed it earlier. We were talking about TikTok and how like my TikTok feed is sometimes yeah. like, oh no, not my TikTok, my YouTube feed because oh, YouTube got the YouTube yeah, shorts. YouTube Reels, so yeah. like, I'll just see hella Sigma. And yeah. Yeah. Being like it's all like bro science, you know. <laughs> yeah. Well, because like ever since I've been a gym rat, like it's yeah. kind of just I've been getting that. And I then actually gym found a way cut. that you can boost your testosterone up by 150 percent at the gym. How you can have sex with men? Oh, okay, <laughs> I'm done. nice. No, I'm done. You really pulled me into that <laughs> I one. Know, I know. <laughs> oh uh, boy. <laughs> um, let's see. Yeah. Where are we at on time? I think. I think. We got 40 minutes. Okay. We, got 40 right. minutes. we can do 10 more, dude. You're right. bore you yeah, that much? No, I mean, no. The, <laughs> listen, bro. I I got a mot- I got a motivation to this, but I also yeah. got a motivation to the gym. Of course, dude. Because I got good, the gym right after this. Yeah. It's crazy because like yesterday. Uh, Did you box? What do you do? What's your What's your regimen? So every day is a different day. Yesterday was like day. Monday was uh, chest day. Uh, chest and triceps. Okay. Uh, today is back and biceps. Okay. Thursday is shoulders. And then Friday is leg day part two. Nice. Do you do box jumps or do you just doing squats and shit? Uh, squats, uh, like dumbbell press or okay. like stuff like that. Okay. Like free weight. Like okay. I don't, I don't like, I don't fuck with the machines because okay, they, they low key don't help you. Yeah. Like it's proven that they don't help you. It's cause like there's like uh, it's like a mechanic to where it like helps you just push it up, but it's not giving you like the full strength you need. So that's why like dumbbell presses and and free weight is like better for you because that's like your true strength. Mm -hmm. Like yesterday I did a, I did my PR squat, uh, for you fucking normies. PR means personal record. And, um, I did 365. That's like my. Is it so aggressive? He is very <laughs> Yo, okay. Dude, we should put him on trend. I'm not gonna <laughs> lie. Ever since I've been going to the gym, I've been fucking like my. I, I feel yeah, like I have been a bit aggressive. On steroids. Be really funny. I like walk into the gym. Oh, pre-workout. Yeah, yeah, all the pre-workout. I fucking. <laughs> you take? You take pre-workout? I do. I got some in my car right now. Oh, yeah, dude. No, like the other day they were talking about because some of my gym folk, like the gym people that I go out uh, to the gym with, they they would see people that are doing workout wrong, like workouts wrong, yeah. and I'll be like, I'll kind of fuck with them and I'll just sniff the air. I'll be like, it's like it smells like bitch in here, yeah. and then like somebody they'll hear me, they'll hear me, and they'll like kind of look around because they yeah. know I'm talking about them, but like I'll like, you should, it's weird. Yeah, I didn't want to be one. He has, a, he has a gym bully. I didn't want to be one. I didn't want to be You should start working out in Tim's. They say her, <laughs> they Tim's say her people jeans. and her people. We have the next Andrew Tate. Yeah, yeah, no, but like, you know? the thing is that, like, these people that I'm like, I'm like saying this to, they're not like you're, they're not like what I was when yeah. I started. These were like people that do their workouts yeah. all the time. Like, yeah. they're gym bros too. These are, these are people who like cut and shit. Yeah, these assuming, are people yeah. that should be fucking doing their workouts correctly. Like, no shortcuts, no nothing like that. Like, Listen, if I see some, because when I started, that was the biggest thing. That was my biggest anxiety was that I was going to get told, hey, you're not doing this right. You should leave. Uh, 
That was my biggest anxiety. You should leave? Yeah. Dude, could, you pay a membership. Like, but, why so would... You, so you're bullying the bullies? Exactly. Because, like, if you're not going to do your workout... This has been workout, a long could, could, time coming. I just hope yeah, you know that... The tables have fucking turned. I'm uh, coming for uh, you, motherfucker. question. What if they just have body dysmorphia yeah. and actually you're kind of bullying them? I have body dysmorphia. <laughs> yeah, dude. What if they're anorexic and you don't even know they're going through some struggles that just look different on their oh, body? Well then, oh, shit, son. Then I go, oh, oops. Oh, no. <laughs> Oopsie <laughs> daisies. I'm sorry. <laughs> no, it's very rare that I fucking do something like that. Um, I'm never, I'm not really. How do you think mean. about, what do you think about muscle girls? Do you have a lot of like muscle girl TikTok? Because I know a lot of my gym friends have like, you know, very, very bad buff ladies. Let me tell you something. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> That shit's hot. That I feel like so I unleashed the beast. Hot. Yo, I've never, and it sucks because I'm a fat dude, so I feel like I can never like get with a muscle mommy. That's what that's oh what the internet God. calls them. That's what they call them. That's what oh internet culture God. calls them, like muscle mommies. Okay, I don't want to. <laughs> but like, oh, I, cause I'm so f- like, I still think I'm fat. I am fat, uh, but I'm not as fat as I was yeah. before. I, obviously, my confidence has grown. Yeah. Yeah, but like I still, I I still can't bag women. Yeah, no, you can't. Yeah, you yes, can. you can. Yeah, you can. Uh, you have fat guy confidence. You had it when I met you, and you'll still have it. There, there is. You cannot sell to anybody that's not a buyer. Uh-huh. But you have to find your buyer, and and it's aligning that. Yeah. Like there is no like people are not homogeneous yeah. in that sense, you know. And uh, my question to you is. How muscly is a woman until you're like, okay, start, starting to think that it's a guy? Oh, wow. Whoa. This is a tough question. Oh, yeah, this is a real tough this question. This is a tough question because, like, I don't know why, but I think we glorify abs in workout culture too much. That is very true, yeah. Yeah, like, abs don't mean shit. Like, I think, like, having a strong core is very... Um... It doesn't bulge. Like, I am one solid unit, and I can curl a lot. To be honest, I haven't seen my limit. So I yeah, yeah so I really don't know yeah I I feel like Arturo's about to pull yeah. <laughs> like, I think I think abs I think I know this sounds up. weird like a lot of like a bodybuilder like the, the when they're like greased up uh-huh. it freaks me out okay just in general oh, those people freak me out but like regular like built structurally built people that's sick I was talking about this the other day and like I I guess the reason I don't like. I don't really like am seeking out someone that's like no. working out at the gym. No. It's obviously because there's gym. I, I think I think you can't. I know this sounds weird. The gym is probably the worst place to meet a woman. It is because everyone's there. Nobody's there to, to hook up. No, of course not, dude. Everyone's everyone's sh- oh away. my gosh! So when the tits look fake, because they're probably fire. not. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's so. fire. <laughs> what? That's so fire. <laughs> it's a look. That is fire. Yeah. <laughs> We have different things, my friend. Uh, okay, so so this first one. Let me see. Can you zoom? Can, uh, you, can you zoom? I need, uh, yeah. Um, is that too much Mars? Or is that the rock? Uh, I can't tell. No, that's still a woman. That's still a woman. I feel but like he, I feel like men pay her to like crush watermelons with their thighs. <laughs> Like, that, I feel like I feel like there's there's I know this sounds weird. There's like probably some weird fetishes. That's a no for me, dog. So yeah or nay? Okay, that, no for real, you. That's I a mean, real no for me, dog. How about you, Harry? I know this sounds weird, and you know I'm in I'm in a wonderful like I could say all that BS of like oh I'm in such a ah uh, I don't I don't know if if this this woman this person could win me over. Okay. I, I I'm sorry I'm that shallow. Oh fuck yeah. Yeah, oh, fuck I fuck mean. Yeah. Okay. Yes, but like she, this person would never approach me in real life. Yeah, facts. you know what I mean. Yeah. No, you have to approach her. She's a woman. This person's Not me. <laughs> She's gonna approach you. That's a yes, but like on like a, like a, out of a one to out of ten, like a like a five. Okay, what if she says yes, but the deal is that she's gonna peg you. Do you still? No, no, that's that's. <laughs> You're asking the asexual host if if pegging's all right. Fuck no, that's a negative. <laughs> The thing is, she'll just club you and drag you back to her yeah, cave anyway. Is, she's got ooga booga energy. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> that is. I feel, I feel like that's a dog whistle. Yeah. So I can't say that. That's a one hundred percent yes. One hundred percent. Yeah. She can uh, peg that me. Is, that is like the definition of what you she say. She can is. peg me. I don't think pegging is. I don't know. It doesn't. It doesn't seem appealing. Yes. But I guess that's God's sick joke to put the uh, G spot in the asshole. No. She's not that muscular. Yeah, she's not. Yeah, fuck yeah. She's still got her baby fat. 
America. Yep. One hundred percent. Yeah, that's like yep. that's that's a, a that's physically a lot of fit. Abs. By the way, that's like a crazy. I bet that's also crazy. By the way, I know we're judging women. I promise you. I don't have an answer for this. Yeah, Yeah, we're getting weird. Yeah, but listen, I I guess because we look at jacked men now. (laughs) Can we equalize it? We look at hot guys. (laughs) But um, well, well, because I mentioned this the last time. Because Andy, I, I I talked this to you like. Women at the gym really motivate me and not yeah. in the way that most people think. Like, they go to the gym knowing that motherfuckers are going to look at them. Yeah. There's creeps there already yeah. looking at them. And yet they do their job. They yeah. do what they do best. And that's get the work. And, and when they're done. doing more than just legs, I'm like, good job. Like, you're doing like actual <laughs> biceps or like, or like lat pull downs. And it's like, like, and they really motivate me. Like I said, I walked into the gym thinking motherfuckers were going to tell me to leave because yeah. I was fat. Yeah. But now it's like, I got my gym homies there. I got people that I that go there, and then I walk in and we dap each other up. Like it's it's all cool. That's like sick, it's dude. all cool in the hood. Yeah, they help me out. They I there is a sense of camaraderie with it. I'm glad you found that. Yeah, and honestly, I've never thought I would ever find the gym a home. Wow. Yeah. yeah. And so that's why I'm dedicated to being. I did. I started going to the gym when I was 18 again. Yeah. I was I was already like lifting here and there, but I. You know, like I said, I was like chasing after a woman when I was eighteen. I like I said, I drank myself out of joining the Israeli mm-hmm. Defense Forces. So I had to like find hobbies and shit and like I know this sounds weird, build my whole personality over because I thought I was gonna play basketball. Oh, I now I'm gonna play basketball, I'm gonna join the army. Mm-hmm. So you're supposed I know this sounds weird. Find alternatives for yourself, for your happiness. Find alternatives mm-hmm. for your happiness, for sure. And listen, I because I've had a lot of people mess- reach out to me ever since I've started the gym journey. They've been telling me, oh, my God, like, Alex, like, you slimmed down. Like, you've yeah. looked a lot different. Like, and they've told me, like, I've been struggling with my body and stuff like that. It's, you know, that struggle comes every day, whether you're yeah. you're skinny, whether you're fat, whether you're built, whether you're, like, chunky like me. Like, it's, it's there. That struggle is there. It's just what are you going to do about it, you know? Me, I knew what I was going to do about it, and I was go to the gym. And eat better. I meal prep. I stop going out to eat. Yeah. Like I seed oils, no more of that. Yeah, you heard about the dangers of yeah. seed oils. Yeah, yeah. I, I would just caution, right? Like you, like when we met, you've been a very sweet guy. Don't let your outer, your search quest for outer appearance, uh-huh. you know, distort your inner appearance, right? Because you know, like we're thirty-seven, plenty of people. Have, uh, if you start wearing a like affliction T-shirts or like only tight T-shirts, yeah. like I'm gonna. You're doing saying, what's right for you, yeah. but. If be I start o- look- be open minded about other people's yeah. choices and what's right for them. If I start looking like Dyson, will you guys see something wrong? Yeah. Yeah. No. It, it's not about looking; it's about thinking. Yeah, you know? I need to get true. on Dyson's workout plan, bro. Because that guy, that guy, that guy's I don't, crazy. I don't, I don't know. This sounds weird, but I'm glad. And this is what I want to go back to: ladies working out because sometimes they hog the stair climber. <laughs> I also need. To work on my masculine thighs. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> like, I know this sounds weird, like the skipping leg day stereotype. Like, that'll never be me, dude. There's a like, my body's the opposite. I'm very, like, I got a good base. There's a <laughs> there's a woman at the gym that uh, I've noticed that'll go on the stair climber, get off, do, like, a, a weight workout, and then come right back to oh it. Oh, my God. And I'll, and I'll be like, that makes me so upset. I'd be, like, no I'd, I'd be like, just stay there for, like, the, the 30 minutes yeah. that you got to be on there yeah. and then just go. Like, like, she does, like, curls for, like, literally three minutes and then goes right back. And I noticed that she'll leave her bag at the stair climber. Yeah. <laughs> she's it's like a checkpoint. Up. Yeah. <laughs> It's, it's like crazy. home base. I, I'm not gonna say anything about it because I'm like, all right, get your shit. Like, dude, that you know. might be Bay. That might be your girl, uh, dude. Nah, <laughs> never know. I will. T- you move it and then you get a yeah, it yeah. You move it. You move <laughs> the thing. Oh, I'm sorry. This should be in a locker. Like, really, be like a Karen about I'm it. Fucking weak. <laughs> no, I did. I did have somebody. Uh, be a total spaz about it. <laughs> there was uh, a day where I did leg day part two, yeah. and um, I was so fucking gassed. Like, I did not know what was going on. No. The world was spinning. And I had a uh, a lady tap me on my shoulder, and she was like, your shirt's cute. And she was pretty attractive. Yeah. But me being in fucking uh, what a, purgatory, I was, <laughs> like, I was like, what did you say? 
Yeah. Uh, I can't yeah. feel my legs. Yeah, you, for, you forget away. it may yeah. or may not be a social environment. <laughs> yeah, my, my boys are like, my yeah. boys are like, did you shoot? And I was like, shoot, shoot what? And they're and they're just telling me like, that was your opportunity. And I'm Dude, like, I've heard some shit of like, oh, I made this girl take a video of me, and then I put her number in my phone or some shit like that. But I don't. That's the, wild. <laughs> the concept of Riz is is that's what the kids are calling uh-huh. it. Riz, Riz. I I I don't. Because here's the thing, I didn't really grow up with Riz. I constantly did internet dating. Mm-hmm. And I think, I don't know if it hurt me, but like, I I know, I'm not saying I'm like lucky with how I looked and things like that. There are obviously guys that don't look, are not 6'5 and you know, whatever. But I definitely wasn't comfortable approaching women. And I know this sounds weird. When I started doing stand up, mm-hmm. it helped my social anxiety because I wanted to speak more in public. So anything I could say in stage, I can obviously say in front of a woman. Mm-hmm. It sounds weird, but no, I could see that. For me, yeah. it hasn't hit because I still fucking fumble the bag when I talk to women. Oh, but that sucks, man. I'm sorry. <laughs> no, nah, it's fine. That's just okay. me. I like I I, I talk yeah. to people out of like yeah. huge respect, and I don't. Dude, I, don't I have know. friends that are virgins at like like 26, and I you know tell them is like just find the right one. Just say and this is what I say to them like start say you're waiting till marriage to fuck with not to fuck with people, <laughs> but like. I don't know. Do you believe in that? Do you believe that, like people should start waiting? Like they should go traditional? Because like I don't know. We have like tw- like Tinder. We have OnlyFans. Do you think the pendulum will swing back, or do you think it'll just be this middle ground? What do you mean swing back to what? I don't know. Where like people are gonna be like, oh, I don't want to see pussy anymore, and then we're all gonna like collectively kind of go conservatively in terms of like sexual promiscuity. I don't know. I think I think. Um People have lost the ability overall to be vulnerable, mm. and it is because I think, and partly, they're yeah. not sure of who they are. Yeah. So how can you be vulnerable about something oh. that you're not even fully sure about? And even the things that you kind of have figured out, if you show them and somebody doesn't like them, what does that say about them? When at the end, it doesn't really matter. It's only through vulnerability. Like I always say, there's no way to fail at being yourself. Yeah. Then you only got to be a seller to the buyer. Now you can have a strategy, yeah. you know, like there's no the, dating in person. Yeah. Asking a girl out in person yeah. has never been easier because guess yeah. what? Less and less people are doing, doing it. it. Mm-hmm. So they're not expecting it. Exactly. Yeah. I'm not going to lie. I was expecting like a tutorial handbook on how to ask out a girl. Oh my when God. I was like 16. I never got it. <laughs> Do you think sex is more meaningless now in our generation? Because I feel like it's either transactional or just like, yeah, I think it's very transactional. Uh, I mean, in my case, because obviously, like me, I don't fuck. So, <laughs> like, it to me, it's meaningless because I just don't like. You, you f- want it to mean something. That's the question I'm following up mm, with. Yeah. You no. Do? I don't know. You don't know. want it to I mean really something? Don't, I really don't That's know. That's crazy, man. I can't answer that. Because, like. like I was put in a situation where it could have been obviously meaningless several uh-huh. times, but I know this sounds weird. Like I lost my virginity to a woman I loved at a time. Okay. And it, it was good. Obviously they moved on different things, but I like at that time I cared about it and it made sex for me. But then I've also like lost that too. Like I've also mm-hmm. like simped for a woman that never gave me attention. So I don't know. It fluctuated for me. And when you both hear for an episode of Casa of Thinking where we ask, what is love? Oh, oh shit! No, yeah, that's <laughs> no, that's a good idea. Uh, this I'm is cry. weird. I'll cry. I'll cry for that Lo- one. Love is this is very weird. Love is uh, I think it can be reluctant because mm-hmm. I've I've been sometimes reluctant to do things for my partner and things like that. But I think love is definitely sacrifice. I've always wanted to think love was a good thing, yeah. But for me, it's always ended very badly. So I mean, I mean, we'll save that for cost of the thinking. But like, I really, I, I really just, just want to be loved, man. That's all I want. Uh, That's all is, I've is, ever wanted. This guy's super gay, but I love you, dude. Thanks, dude. Yeah, yeah we love you. Yeah. yeah, yeah, dude. I think, not in a gay. I think way it's different of the love and intimacy. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's a big difference because like. Our souls will gang bang your soul. Yeah, 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 dude. <laughs> like my souls will run a train on you, dude. <laughs> That's crazy. <laughs> intimate, like intimate, like the question of what is intimacy? Because intimacy could be mm. like for you cuddling, but intimacy to me is like deep sexual passion. But like, that's not always the case. Like, I'm not getting a constant sexual passion. Yeah, you know, by the hour or whatever. Yeah, like I had a moment. Like, 
No, I'm not going to talk about what? that. What? Uh, all talk, I'm going to say, all all right, gonna say I'm gonna is that, you. like, all I've ever wanted was, like, to be with someone and then just one day, like, go go have fun. Go to, like, the mall and, like, just talk about shit that's there. Like, not not with, like, I could do that with the homies. Yeah, but, like, but how do you feel if that person fucks somebody else? That's not you. Yeah, uh, like, there's I, a gel. That's the, I know this sounds weird. That's the man, man in you. Man, you've really yeah. never watched any of the episodes I've been on, man, because I talk about this. He does. A, yeah, we can tell he hasn't watched. Yeah, he hasn't watched. No, I've, I've, wa- I've watched like good amounts of it, and I can see, and I don't think I've gotten to the arc of it at the at the end, but I've, I've heard like. So, yeah, like, I guess. Th- yeah. <laughs> Sorry. I've guys, heard your predicaments. I've this. heard your predicaments. I will say that. I'm really trying to not talk about this, but. Okay. Well, well let me ask you a question, right? Okay. Let's say there's a lady that sees you on the show right now, uh, and she's like, oh, shit, I'm interested. Uh, How should she let you know that way? Because remember that time you were dazed, you weren't sure, you know, like, she came up next She should stalk you. <laughs> you. How should they approach you so that, yeah. you know, you know that they're interested in, you know? I mean, sometime, honestly, in my case, like, I would really like for them to be straight up. I don't want to play this guessing game. Yeah. I don't want to keep looking at the cues because I fucking suck at looking so at the So you want them to say, hey, I want to give you some pussy? Or like, okay. what is what does that first interaction look like? Like, hey, I, I want to I know if you want to go out with me on a date. Like, I don't want to be... You, want, you want an aggressive lady? Nah. Eh. I guess in like... I think I, I've, I've been there. Have you? I've been I've been with aggressive women and I know this sounds very weird and this is gonna sound I feel like I come off very ultra conservative. Listen, I, I'm at a point I'm where I'm trying like, not to. I think appreciate it. Thank Maybe you. Maybe yeah. if the Tennessee thing wouldn't have happened, I probably would have been a pushover. But now that the Tennessee thing has happened, yeah. I don't want to be a pushover. And yeah. so I won't take shit, but I, I still love you. Yeah. And but I ain't gonna take your shit though. Yeah. <laughs> like I I will not stand for somebody that wants me to the to just be straight up kind a wise, of all the right. time. a wise but, man has said this real quick yeah right. and socrates said this okay okay shouts out to him treat her like a celebrity and she'll treat you like a fan socrates like said a, that? Like I'm a what? Fucking, yeah, i was <laughs> like wait <laughs> socrates said know. that no. but uh okay so we know what you know what do you want in her what is uh her interest you know yeah. what are you into yeah. like you know what uh that she obviously needs to shut the fuck up through yeah, a movie, okay. obviously. Yeah. Andy, how did but, you and uh, Arturo meet? Hmm? How did you and Arturo meet? Because that also comes down to like what likes and similarities. We and... met in the, like the age old tale of Tinder. So oh, wow. many years ago when it was wow. less of a cesspool, but still a cesspool. Yeah. Yeah. Let yeah. me yeah. assure you. Yeah. I did oh. grab him because, you know, dating is like nachos. Yeah. Nobody's going to ask you if you want the best yeah, chip. You, wow. you got to get in there and you got to grab yeah. that shit. So I think there is a thing about it. See, I weird. fuck with that. I fucks with that. It is very stupid, but like, ah, this is so corny. But it is, it is true to an extent. Like, like, like men hunt. I know this sounds weird. Like, men are like tigers. Okay? Mm-hmm. And I know this sounds weird. Like, you can't ask. You can't. <laughs> You can't. Is that so fucking stupid? But like, the tiger can't just turn to his girlfriend Rebecca one day and be like, "Do you like these pants?" Like, you know what I mean? Like, like, know, there's I, nothing worse than an unconfident it, tiger. But, uh, <laughs> is, is that how tigers are? Because in lions, the females hunt, don't they? I guess so. In in, in the animal kingdom, in the animal kingdom, yeah, okay. the the female species is more aggressive. I think. You know. I think. Cause like, I I respect yeah. I I like just the way I talk to people has always been like I never want to do anything wrong and I never want to uh do something that might end up being you'd be a, such a good politician, w- dude. Well, like, what I call an escalation, kill. like I don't want an escalation. So if I were to do like you know you said nobody's gonna ask for the best chip unless you take it, right? Well, I'm afraid if I take it, they're gonna get mad that the chip has been taken. Shut up, Siri. I have an I answer. Do. You do want the mo- Yeah. Yeah. Maybe. Yeah. Maybe. Because you're just as charismatic, and you probably have way more going for you, and you have to sell yourself. All right. Yeah. G- give me. I, maybe I just yeah. need to grind for that XP really quick. Yeah. I, you know. Yeah. Like, yeah. You know. Like. You know, I'm not ready for that boss battle yet, so I got to do a few you side know, missions. You just need to run as the age old, t- you know, like tech. You should, say, you should start talking to older ladies. Do some hood rats first, you know. 
Have you never, nobody seen 40 year old virgin? It tells you there. Oh, you must yeah. run run through some hood rats first, boost up your confidence. Oh yeah. You know, and then you go for the girl you like. You should get a wax. <laughs> you ever see that you ever see that <laughs> video of uh I think it's it's by a comedy um channel like back in like 2010 yeah. uh where it was like how to lose weight in three easy steps step oh, yeah. one oh you know, yeah, yeah, like, yeah, yeah. That, oh that's you, so painful and you know oh, how like he found the girl at the gym yeah, low-key yeah. now that i'm at this gym like i low-key kind of feel like it I could I, happen yeah. for you or whatever but it can also happen in different parts of your life dude because yeah. like i literally met a girl at this concert that i went mm -hmm. to so and it was a small world you know what i mean does anybody know that you're funny at the gym uh, oh, I think people have seen my Instagram and they because yeah. like my Instagram is titled comedian. So what if you can... started to like you know stretch <laughs> out like in a super like yeah. funny way? Like yeah. you start wearing leg funny. warmers, start dressing you like know, Richard like, Simmons, like in your in your eighties outfit. You know, like, if you started demon, making like you know? cringy gym TikToks, that kind of would be hilarious. That would but be like amazing. I don't know if I, I don't know if anyone would TikTok. be in on the joke too. So like you need to add a little self. If I I don't. It shows you, confidence. It's also your body and yeah, your. Yeah, it shows you know. confidence. Be like, yeah. this fucking guy. What's the deal? Yeah. I don't know. We'll see. Like I said, I'm a, I'm, I'm a hopeless. I don't know. Do you know who so. like Stavrosaki is? Is no. All right. There's this like fat Greek comic. Um, oh wait. Yeah, Stavros. Uh, yeah, Stavros, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, dude. You see how like confident he dresses as like a fat balding guy? Yeah. Like it sounds weird, but like like dude, that guy probably gets way more pussy than I do. And he's just a fat guy who looks like Ron Jeremy. <laughs> yeah, but, like I said, yeah. I, I know my problem. I'm just a big yeah. puss. Like yeah. I'm, I'm a pussy, and so I Come need on, to get rid dude. of no, that. You, you won't be. Right. You won't be until you say you are. You know what I mean? Okay. Yeah, it's a choice, and you know yeah. you're working it up and got courage for that choice. But just remember, you get the courage after the act, not before. I'm gonna get okay. there, but I think this is a good stopping point. Hell yeah. yeah. Like I said, guys, this podcast really doesn't bring you anything but good vibes. <laughs> and, you know, I'm, I, I appreciate you guys watching all the way to the end. We have a lot more stuff coming. I have a Twitch channel now, oh. twitch.tv slash uh, fries Gaming. Right now I'm going through Final Fantasy VII Crisis Core reunion so come vibe well, that. We need to play Smash, dude. Yeah, we could do that too. Like, I'm, I'm super down. Harrison, thank you so it's much for coming on. on. man. Thank you. And uh, like I said, that's it. Come back and see us next week for the next episode. Patreon.com slash doing on. All right, bye. <laughs> Peace. <laughs>